I can't believe it's still a topic of national conversation. Let's put to rest this criticism by the mainstream media that Houston should have evacuated before the disaster of Hurricane Harvey hit, or the citizens of other states that we've seen comments about we should have we should have evacuated. In full disclosure, I don't like Houston Mayor Sylvester Cat Turner. As a former Texas state representative, his last RER Liberty score was a 17 out of a possible 100. And that's pretty much the score of a communist or a Democrat. Then what's the difference? Yet, if we're going to be intellectually honest and maintain integrity in our political observations, when in, even an enemy of liberty does something right, you have to give them props. And so it is with Mayor Turner. He absolutely made the right call by not issuing a mandatory evacuation order for the, for the nation's fourth largest city. How do you evacuate a metropolitan area approaching 7 million people with two days notice? Maybe some of the folks across the United States, those who are criticizing and certainly within big national media have forgotten the chaos that was Hurricane Rita. I haven't and Houston hasn't. I was a pastor at the time when the first buses arrived to the Astrodome with Katrina survivors. I was one of the first to meet them. Everyone stepping off the buses still soaking wet and all their possessions were wet too. That first night was the first night we housed any strangers within our church. Our church ended up hosting over 700 individuals before that phase of our congregational work was done. When Rita rolled in, a few weeks after their arrivals, I was responsible for evacuating those that were residing with us, about 30 people. I found a church in College Station that could receive us all. A drive to College Station from Houston normally takes about an hour and 10 minutes. That night, it became a 10 hour, bumper to bumper, stop and go nightmare. And through the whole episode, over 100 people died on Texas highways. It was disastrous. Houston learned. And what did we learn? We learned that you run from the water and hide from the wind. You run from the water as in the storm surge, and you only evacuate citizens out of the range of the surge. Therefore, an evacuation order could be fulfilled by moving a mere 10 miles, not all the way to Dallas. Here's a good question. Evacuate where? This storm impacted 50 counties. That's 20% of the state. Where do you run when an ocean is being dumped on you? What would the disaster have been with 11 trillion gallons of water being poured into 1 million cars on southeast Texas freeways? Big media ramping up to criticize, create controversy, and looking for any way they can accentuate the political. Some way to advocate for government largesse. And through it all, big media and the planet can't pick their jaws up off the floor as they witness the strength of Texas and Texans after the worst natural disaster in the nation's history by far. We did the best thing. Texans, the world's toughest people, bowed their necks against the storm, took Harvey's best, and are shaking it off. Houston, Southeast Texas, and the coastal bend area are going to recover and pro prosper as promised in God's word. I'm Apostle Claver. Check me out, 12 noon Texas time on RagingElephantsRadio.com. Share the video, like our Facebook page. Follow us on Twitter. Thanks for watching. Houston Strong.